Hey, uh, coming back at you with the sequel to the time stretch video. This is the transpose video. This is where we're going to take a sample and we're going to change the key of it. Uh, sometimes it's called pitch shifting as well. Uh, so you, maybe you have two different samples and they're in different keys and you want them to play together or you just want to change the key of a sample that you've dragged in. Uh, the unfortunate thing about GarageBand is that this makes this a real pain, but uh, you, we can do it and I will show you how. It should be easier, but it's for some reason not. Uh, so anyway, I got rid of my tambourine and my boom clap that I had in the other video, and I just have this eight-bar broken-hearted intro. And uh, it would be great if when I clicked on it and then my edit window came up down here that I could actually just drag the transpose cursor up or down. But it does not do that, so here's what we're going to do instead. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get your BPM back at the original BPM for the song because we're going to save this piece as a loop into the loop library. Uh, and so that means we're going to be kind of bringing it in and out and doing different stuff with the different times in your life. So uh, I would highly recommend just kind of saving it as close to the original as, as you can. So Broken Hearted was at 120, uh, which was a fortunate thing. Uh, and it's at 120. We're going to have our project at 120. And so now here we are. We have our region selected. Again, that's unselected, selected. And I'm going to go up to File, Add Region to Loop Library. This is what we've got to do for some dumb reason in order to be able to transpose these things. So I say add to region to loop library. I give it a name. I'm going to say broken hearted intro. I'm saving it as a loop. I'm not going to mess with all this other stuff in terms of sorting it and organizing it. You don't have to and to be able to use it. Just if you want to be able to browse for it and find it later, that's fine. But you can search for it and find it just as easy. So I'm going to say create. And it has made a loop. Uh, so now I'm going to go to my loop library. I'm just going to type in broken hearted. And here it is, intro, hooray. Now you'll notice I've got a few others there because I've been screwing with this tonight and, uh, a few different times here. So now I have two things that look the same. And this first one that I had does not let me transpose. What a pain. But the second one does. Look, I can do it now. I'm going to mute this one. And listen, now we're up. This uh, puts it up or down uh, half steps. So let's say I put it up two half steps. So that would be a whole step, right, guys? Hey, new key. Works up or down, obviously. And so on. Isn't that great? Uh, so that's about it. You can still uh, change the time as well. So you could make it go, say, slower and higher. Why not? Let's get crazy, right? And so on. So now we can change the key of stuff. So you could bring in different samples. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out a way around this, but unfortunately, you got to save them into the loop libraries in order to be able to transpose them later. But it's not the end of the world, just a few extra clicks. Um, you know, just uh, kind of on that topic while we're here getting to the end of this video, which was uh, hopefully quick and easy for you, you know. Uh, it's a bit of a bummer for you guys that I am having to relearn GarageBand uh, because uh, I used to use GarageBand when it was the old GarageBand, the original GarageBand. Uh, I used it a ton, but then I've since I've kind of grown up and moved on to bigger, better programs, and uh, I have not kept up with the new uh, GarageBand changes. So uh, I spent some time tonight figuring this out so I can show it to you. There are other programs out there that can do pitch shifting and uh, time stretching and stuff like that. Uh, it's so much quicker and easier. And sometimes GarageBand can be a little clunky on some of this stuff. It's it's really good at some of the stuff that it's really good at. Uh, it, the loop library is great. It does very simple editing. Uh, it does MIDI, I think, really nice. Uh, but this stuff, it's a little bit clunky on. But you can do it, and it gets done, uh, and that's very cool. So hopefully you can start playing with some of your own recordings uh, and music that you have and kind of messing with it and putting things together and figuring stuff out. Uh, when you do go to try to put different things together that are in different keys, uh, I highly recommend, uh, one, using your ears and figuring out, like, oh, what's tonic? What is this chord progression? Uh, this would be kind of a good way for you to, to uh, put some of that ear training to work that you're doing in your classes. Uh, you know, kind of figuring out what keys are these thing in and what are the chord progressions because some things will go together and some things won't. Uh, but uh, there are all kinds of cheats you can use to help yourself on the Internet. You can search the chord progression for songs. They're all 
all out there somewhere, but don't trust everything you read on the internet because uh, a lot of it is incorrect. But a lot of it's at least close. So you can at least get, oh, what key is this in at least, and uh, get close. Uh, there's also a, a cool website, and I'll put the, the uh, I think it's I think I've got it bookmarked somewhere here. I'll put a link to it on the uh, uh, Schoology site. Uh, it's called Hook Theory. I think I've got it saved in my music here. Yeah. Uh, so Hook Theory, if you go to hooktheory.com, I think if you just go to hooktheory.com, it'll walk you through this. Um, well, kind of. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll put this, uh, the theory tab. Oh, that's it. I could have gone there for the theory tab. I'm just kind of riffing here, guys. <laughs> theory tab. Uh, so theory tab is pretty cool from on the Hook Theory website, and I'll link this on Schoology. Uh, you can, this thing right here, find songs with the same chords. It's kind of cool. You can, it assumes everything is in C. Uh, so, I mean, you could just substitute Roman numeral 1 for C if you wanted and Roman numeral 5 for G. Uh, but assuming everything's in C, you uh, can search for songs that, you know, have different chord progressions. So say you wanted one that was, uh, you know, uh, the 1, 6, 4, 5 progression, Right? So, you know, those four chords in that order. Well, then it gives you a bunch of songs that have that progression. Uh, so if you want to do some kind of easy uh, first attempts at uh, doing some mashups and things like that, you can find songs. Oh, look, there's Boom Clap. Uh, you can find songs that have the same uh, chord progressions, although Boom Clap doesn't actually start on that one, but it does have those chords in that order. Well, anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, so... Mess around with stuff, put things together, try things, uh, see what things sound like, and uh, you know, have a good time. And let me know what other stuff you need to know. Uh, again, uh, I spend a lot of my time in other programs than GarageBand, but I want to make sure I can help you in GarageBand too. So uh, I'll learn right along with you, and I will walk you through stuff. The sampling stuff I've shown you tonight here is uh, about making them different time and different key, but what I haven't shown you yet is how to put how to do the uh, short sample stuff where you trigger uh, like a single sound and you press a button and make that single sound come out. Now, I'll make a separate video on that another day, uh, but these will help you with longer samples, loops like uh, you know two or four bars or eight bars or even just one measure. I guess if you wanted to loop it, um, these should be useful skills in terms of looping stuff. If you want to actually trigger samples, that's going to be a, a different. Uh, video uh, and a different set of skills, but this should get you started at least. Sorry for all the rambling at the end. Have awesome times, you know, be good people and make good music. See ya.